Hello Forex traders, I just uh, wanted to share with you an indicator that I used a long time ago but I stopped using it for some reason and now it seems to be I'm revisiting it and I'm having pretty good results and that indicator is the Guppy Moving Average. There's lots of videos on YouTube on how to use this but I'll go over it really quick. I like to use the second one here and what it does it draws on the chart a bunch of moving averages here they call these the fast moving averages and the red ones are the slow moving averages and uh, these moving averages are right here like the 3 5 8 10 15 uh, 12 15 and the fast move the slow moving averages are the 30 35 40 45 50 and 60. so and this indicator too it uh Per the Guppy rules, it gives you uh, the arrow here, and you can use this on any time frame. I prefer the one hour, but um, if you didn't have these arrows, this is how you basically uh, trade this: is you wait for the price to pull back into the slow moving averages and starts to head out of it again. So you enter at the close of this candle, and then um, same thing for the. Uh, when you short on the short side so you wait for it to go back into the the range the slow the slow moving averages I mean the fast moving averages going into the slow moving averages and then you wait for a red uh, candle and you enter here at the red candle so you don't want to use it in when the two moving averages are close to each other or the stock or forex pair is um, just consolidating in one area you don't want to use that because it gives you a lot of falls so you can um guppy calls this the waterfall effect when the uh, fast moving average starts to move away from the slow moving averages i also added uh, two, uh, 50 moving averages to here uh, i think it helps me decide you never want to go trade against this so so well, let's see how it uh, how it worked out here. So if you can tell these arrows, they're very helpful. So uh, on different pairs here. So can't really tell you when it lost or wasn't accurate. I mean, here you would have had a major pullback, but it's not very common for that to happen. Here too. This might have been a loss because unless you waited this out here, it all depends on your stop loss and take profit points. So, so a little bit of discretionary trading is required here. Uh, look at this one. Give you a sell here. It's an amazing run here. Um, I think it's pretty accurate. It's, you know, you don't use it blindly, but it is a helpful tool. So I hope you like this uh, video. I'm actually using it to uh, to help me qualify in one of the prop trading firms. Um, I'll discuss that later with you guys. Anyway, so here, this might have been uh, faked you out, but again, it depends on your stop loss level and how much pain you can tolerate before you get out. So if you want to do a two to one, uh, stop loss take profit then this might work too so. and you can also use it for stocks so let's say uh, everybody's favorite stock tesla let's see how, see how i haven't really checked this out in tesla but yeah it seems to work there too so gotta buy here you got to buy here. It went against you for a little bit. And, th and remember, this is the uh, this is on the hourly, so you can also use it on different time frames if you really want to be quick. Let me see if it works on the five. I haven't really tested this out on the five because the lowest I trade is fifteen. I don't really go to the lower time frames. So if you want a quick scalping trades like you would have bought here at 74 and we sold at this resistance here so about at 74 